Hey there, it's Bread of Booster Therapy back with another giveaway for the month of September 2020. This month we're going to be giving away a Tulane Brawl deck to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do, same as the previous months, is like and comment on each of our videos and come October we'll be picking one of those comments from a subscriber and giving them the Tulane deck. Thanks again for all of your love, all of the support, and enjoy today's video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We've got Jumpstart, finally the second wave, or really the finishing part of the first wave is out there. It's in the wild. And well, we got our hands on it, so we're gonna crack a bunch of packs, 24 gigantic booster packs, so you gotta double crack each one and get some dragons. Oh, you know what this means? Might open up a mythic right out the gate. Can we get the terror? I think that's pretty sure that's the best card you can get on this one. Ah, we got Lathless. Lathless the dragon. Then we get Gadric with Lathless. Not bad. You know, ooh, that's a good uncommon. I think it is, anyways. And then, of course, the Dragon Mountain. Gotta put our. Special lands off to the side. Oh my gosh, these are hard to crack. Plus one. What's the what's the best hit in the plus one slot for cards? Oh, Ooh, that's probably what it is. Branch and evolution, that's right. Extremely good card that I always forget about. The branching evolution and the champion of Lamholt. We'll take that. The champ is pretty good. And the forest, the wonderful plus one forest. Let's see, we want a Bruvec. We want we want all of like the the unique mythics to jumpstart. So Emil, Bruvec, Tiny Bones, all those good ones. Zerzoth, there's a good one of the rares. The Chaos Rider. And then I think that's about it for that one. I don't think there's any real other hits except for the sweet, sweet Devil Mountain. Oh yeah, that's, you know what else? We got Muxus Legion. I think Legion and Smashing maybe are some of like the most common ones. Lena, Selfless Champion. And we've got a Mentor of the Meek. This might be one of the better options with this. All right, could be wrong. What do I know? What do I know? And there you go. The Legion Land. Come on. Super hits. Vampires. So we can get Exquisite Blood in here, which gotta assume that's the best hit we can pull from Vampires. Ooh, we got Draina, we get a nice Mythic. Not Exquisite Blood, but still a good card. Falcon Wrath Noble is a pretty solid uncommon. So is the Aetherborn, Aetherborn, whateverborn, and the Swamp. Come on, Super Jumpstart Pack, Rogues. Rogues can have the... Demir Commander. I can't remember the name. Oh, we didn't get it though. Ganti, Lord of Luxury. And the Thieves Guild Enforcer. I do use Ganti a lot. A Mausoleum Turnkey. Interesting. Una's Blackguard is actually a good uncommon. And the Rogue's Gloves. Like those. Good cards. And we get the Rogue Swamp. Come on, Mythic Town. Heavily armored. What's the best? Does Heavily ar armored do you get Machaeus or was that Legion? Duelist Heritage. This might be the first time I've seen this. Whenever one or more creatures attack, you have you may have target attacking creature gain double strike. Interesting. And the High Sentinels of Arishin. Huh, that is actually pretty solid. I think that is the first time I have opened those cards with this one. And then the heavily armored 
land. You know what I'm realizing too? We already did open a mythic and we did not put it aside. Drena is our first mythic. Let's make sure we're tracking our piles. People are probably going crazy for the first like last couple minutes. They're like, why would you do that? You've messed everything up. You ruined everything. What is wrong with you? A Johnny's Chosen and the Celestial Mantle. The Stephen Argyle artwork. Always worth to do the quick check. And then we got the Nyx Plains, which is really cool looking. Predatory. Predator, we can get the the Gruel Commander. That is pretty solid. The Fight Mander. Yep, Neath, Nyeth, Nayeth of the Dire Hunt. I think that's the only good thing from that one as well. And the beautiful forest. Wow, that pack. Did not want to open. Ooh, it's the walls. I think we can get an exclusive Jumpstart Mythic in this one, which would be pretty exciting. Yep, the Towering Titan. We did it. There's another one of the really good Mythics, and then we get an Assault Formation at Rare. And honestly, I think a handful of these are pretty good, like the, the Wall Blossoms, any of the draw... ETB draw card ones are pretty solid. And the beautiful Wall Forest. I do have a Walls deck if you were curious. It's uh, obviously helmed by the Elder Dragon itself, Arcades. And it's a lot of fun to play. Spellcasting. I feel like the only thing I've ever seen in the rear slot here is the double cast. Or whatever that double spell is. Double Vision. Foreigner. Cue the music. Double Vision. Yeah, that's real bad. And Love the Mountain. Come on. Give us something spicy. Give me a reason to use the meatball. Spicy meatballs. Reanimated. You got a shot. Will you have it? I'll just take a reanimate, though. Grave Walker. Scourge of Neltoth. And then, really, the best hit in this one... So this zombie infestation is pretty good. But the best hit is Exhume in that pack. And the beautiful Swamp. With the dead rising. The reanimation happening. Come on, unicorns. Predatory. Another predatory. Gonna get another Nayeth? Or however the name is said. Predatory. Yep, Nayeth of the Dire Hunt. Let's see if there's anything to different. It does actually appear a little bit different. There is at least early one card difference. Oh, there's a Ginger Brute. Weird. Forest. Wizards. So most of the time in Wizards you're seeing Talrand. So, and that's what we're going to see today. Talrand the Sky Summoner for your wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. And the Wizard Island. Now well, about at the halfway mark. Maybe just a bit beyond it. Under the sea. Sued whale. We got the Moby Dick of Wales. And the Tolarian Kraken. Anything else really good in that one? And the island. Beautiful under the sea island, too. Dinosaurs. Let's get that Selvala. Selvala. Please get the Super Mythic. Selvala. Galta. Galta's not bad. It's 
better than the third option. Cultivate. And the Dino Land. But would have loved to see a Cell Valley. Plus one. Another plus one. Can we get another branching evolution? That would be great. That's like a $20 card. Branching evolution. Rishkar. Pima Renegade. Got our little tapper. And the plus one land. Minotaur is all we get. We get Sethron. Get the Saffron Olive Boy. Sethron Hurloon General. But more importantly, we get a Herald's Horn. Love getting Herald's Horn. You guys remember that was like a $25 plus dollar card? Great job at the reprint there, Wizards. Snuck it in a couple ways. We got it in this, we also got it in the Mystery Group. Oh, Elves. Come on. I don't think, I think either way we go, we're good. Allosaurus Rider or Crater Hoof. Either one is extremely good. Come we on, got mommy. the Allosaurus yeah, Rider last I checked. This is like 60 bucks. That is worth the spiciness. Very, very, very good Elves. You're pretty much always winning when Elves is the pack you're opening. Ooh, that was good. That was what we needed, and I gotta put it in the right pile again. Oh boy. Got the Allosaurus Shepherd. I said Rider. It's the Shepherd. Way better. Ooh, tree hugging. Not even sure what the best card from tree hugging is. Oop, not that one though. I dropped it. Primordial Sage. I feel like that's the one I normally see. Another wall of blossoms though. Not bad. Explore. And the tree folk forest. I think we've got three more packs after this one, it looks like. It's hard to tell because these are a little bit thicker. Legion. This is where Micaeus is. Can we get the Micaeus? Glorious Anthem. Good 30 cent rare. And the planes. Let's just check how many packs we got left. It is definitely three packs. Let's get another Elves. Elves? Devilish. We might get another Xerzoth. Otherwise, I do think Hellrider can come in these as well. Sounds good. That's a Xerzoth, though. We'll take it. We will always take the Chaos Rider. Traitorous Greed. And again, the Devil Mountain. Doctor! We used to see the little lifelink weird monk in these ones. And there he is! Weird little monk. He's a cleric, but you know. And the land. Last jumpstart pack! And then we're closing out another episode of Booster Therapy. Come on! End with a hit. Oh my gosh. These packs are hard to open. Archaeology. Hmm. Can archaeology have mythic? I know the archaeology land looks amazing. But I can't always remember. It's a rare. The Scarecrow. And Scarecrow is very good. It's one of the few Scarecrows that you really depend on for a successful... Oops, wrong pile. Uh, successful Reaper King deck. Archeomender. That is actually pretty good. I put that aside. There's a couple decks that I could be playing that card. And there it is, the Archeology Island. It looks fantastic. Well guys, that's it. That's another box of Jumpstart. At least we got the Shepherd. He is a monster hit. 
Until next time, this is Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your day.